Hey there, this is K4A Knowledge for All educational video channel. We are continuing with Learning Scratch, we are continuing with Learning Scratch blocks and in this video today we are going to try to learn a very important block which is block uh, one of the sensing blocks, the blue ones and uh, the one which we are going to use and learn today is uh, mouse down okay I'm going to click and drag it into the cat character and sorry and uh, let me see uh, to think about some kind of idea how to use it and when okay first let's see what this mouse down blocks what does it uh, register what uh, kind of action does it expect from us mouse down simply means is are you clicking with your mouse on the screen so if we are going to click somewhere anywhere on the screen with our mouse and we use this block it will say true and unless we don't click anywhere on the screen it will say false simple as that so some of you think uh, now okay but when we're going to use it and how uh, haven't we used some kind of similar blocks previously I think we did we have used uh, some kind of clicking here with this block when this sprite clicked but what's the difference between these two this when this sprite clicked will work only and only if I click on the cat and this mouse down will work anywhere I click on the screen on the tree on the background sky sea floor cat wherever uh, I press mouse down whenever, wherever and whenever I press mouse click it will register as true here so for example if I want uh, my game to work that uh, I don't want the cat to sound meow when I click on her but I instead I want the cat to uh, say meow when I click anywhere on the screen that makes much sense for me and logic uh, um, as in real life it will make more sense that cat is exploring the environment and uh, saying meow when it sees the tree the stone and so on so I, I don't want to use this when this sprite clicked start sound meow but instead of that I want to say if the mouse is down if I'm clicking with my mouse anywhere on the screen say meow but I have to check this how many times all the time all the time I click on the screen I will have to check this condition so I have to put it into my forever block which is I think here somewhere yeah forever and it's already all this mess is kind of already big some of those blocks are not connected so we don't use them and some of those we will delete and re do later to look a little bit better but for now let's just add this if mouse down then start sound meow at the end of the screen so what will happen now if everything is working all right uh, when i pressed when I start my game and click anywhere on the screen I will hear the sound meow okay so it works it's kind of strange it, it's like uh, some kind of uh, repeated uh, meow sound like uh, some machine meow machine gun which is crazy but uh, sound is working and clicking is working which is good and also I have another problem now showing up and that is when I click on something on the screen not only that I have the meow sound but I also drag and drop that 
sprite and I don't want to do that but uh, that's how the game development works you make something and then you mess something else up and then you fix something and then you uh, destroy something else and so on and so on so in this case we have our uh, click uh, when mouse down starts meow sound that works and we have to fix the sound and also we have to fix drag and drop okay it will show up well when the game starts but if i click and drag i will destroy the environment so i have to fix two things first of all this sound i don't want that repeated we will learn that in the next few videos that's easy fix with uh, one of the sound blocks which we ha haven't learned before but it's actually only uh, changing changing this start sound meow into something else in another sound block and this also drag and drop i think it could be fixed but not sure because i had some problems earlier with some kind of blocks which are used for drag and dropping sprites on the screen so i cannot promise i will fix that Easy. Anyway, uh, we have uh, learned uh, much more important stuff today and that's uh, how this mouse down works. Uh, and as I, as I have just shown here, it uh, can be used to uh, click anywhere on the screen and to add some kind of action interaction to uh, clicking on the screen. And if this uh, example which I have ma just made here, it makes it makes no, no sense to you, or it's too simple, too stupid. Uh, that's that's all cool. That's all right. Uh, uh, but imagine if you have some kind of shooter game, so you have to shoot uh, on the screen, like uh, uh, I don't know, top-down shooter and so on. So you will click here, click here, click here, click here, and then you will probably. Uh, use this mouse down block sensing block uh, it makes sense to use it then uh, also for some kind of uh, uh, where else for some kind of yeah uh, I can also show you I think we have used here uh, yeah uh, this uh, when this sprite clicked block let's examine it again a little bit so uh, 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 when this sprite clicked here it is and we need this sensing block mouse down so can you maybe some of you can already see what I'm trying to do here but can you uh, see can you understand what this when this sprite clicked is doing uh, for us on the screen I'm now in Dancing Kid character and we have used it here and we said when you when this sprite is clicked uh, which means when the player clicks on the boy <coughs> character on the screen then say hello K for all how are you I have a problem can you help me blah 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 so that will happen only and only when I click on the boy on the screen so uh, how did the scratch programmers made this block this block is working perfectly and save us lots of time but if we want to just think for a few seconds and uh, uh, try to understand what they have done i think you can already uh, understand it and you can already remake this button with this mouse done what i'm trying to say uh, i say to you I'm trying to say that Scratch programmers made this block for you so you don't have to code it yourself every time but if you want you can do it and it's a good exercise to try to do it and to understand better how things work. So in this case uh, what, how can we say or explain this sentence when this sprite is clicked. Ok I have a sprite I have a condition when it's clicked and clicked it is used here with mouse down so it can be false as it's not clicked and true when it's clicked so okay I have clicking and now I have to ask myself 
when this sprite is clicked. I can say it in different way instead of when it's clicked. I can say it, try to say it for example, if this sprite is clicked. So, if this mouse is down, then do something. Is this the same as this here? Uh, no, it's not. It's close, but it's not yet there. Why? Because we have this sprite clicked. And we don't have sprite here, we have only if mouse is down, if mouse is clicking. So it will not work on this boy here, it will work only, it will work also on the tree, on the cat, on the background, everywhere I click. This, as we said before, this mouse down works everywhere I click. So I have to add something else here, I have to add check, is the mouse on the sprite, is it hovering the sprite? I think we have learned a block which can help uh, earlier, which can help us to do that. And that block is if I'm touching the mouse pointer. So I want to say if I'm touching the mouse pointer with the kid. So if the my mouse pointer is over the kid character and I'm clicking the mouse, if the mouse is down, then do something. Okay, how am I going to join those two blocks? I'm going to join them with end block like this and we have uh, sorry and we have just explained this one more time we have said before that this end block is working only and only if these two conditions both of those two conditions are true so the second has to be true and the first one has to be true so I'm going to click and drag it into the if and what do I have here now? I have the one block which says when this sprite is clicked and I have the uh, another block which says if my mouse pointer is touching some character in this case it's kid and if I'm clicking the mouse then do something. So are those two same? Yes there are. They don't look the same in the terms of this visual uh, representations in uh, terms of uh, what blocks we are using but they are doing exactly the same thing I think we will try now to check it out so I want to redo this group of blocks instead of using when this sprite clicked I will try to use if I'm clicking and if I'm clicking on the kid character boy character then do this I think it will be the same and when I'm going to check this condition I have to check it all the time all the time the uh, cat is near the kid and clicking on it or not clicking on it let me try now just before I add this to see now it should not be working because we have detached the block. Okay, that's cool. It's not working now because this block is ne not connected to anything. But now I'm going to connect it into this forever. And now I sh should get same interaction with the boy as I had before. Hello K4L, how are you? Can you help me, yes or no? Yes. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So this works. So again, that's just another example how we can use this mouse down and we can use it in combination with just let me detach this and reattach it to when this sprite is clicked to have the same thing as before okay now the, it's all as before but let me drag and drop this here just to have it for some of you who want to try it on your own and uh, let me just zoom it for a few seconds and I'm finished I promise okay so what we have learned here uh, that this mouse down is actually uh, that's uh, that condition is checking if you're clicking with the mouse on your screen but you can use it 
here it's uh, checking if the mouse is down everywhere on the screen but I can use it in combination with this touching mouse pointer and clicking mouse and putting it into some character and that way I can remake this when this sprite is clicked or even you can go even crazier and to ask three condition or even crazier four condition and so on and so on and for some complex games you will have to do it so it's better for you to try to learn it on simpler examples and experiment with it with simpler examples but later you will uh, when you get used to it uh, then you will uh, you can use it for whatever you want okay so in the next few videos i will try to fix this problem which i have now this that is this meow machine gun i want the meow sound to sound only once and not in this loop and i also have to fix moving of those objects on the screen and also add more questions to the girls and cats and so on and so on okay that's it for this lesson thanks for watching and try to experiment with this new mouse down sensing block, block which we have learned today on your own it's very very powerful and important and if you want to make more complex game or to learn coding in some more complex programming language than scratch you will have to learn similar similar codes okay bye for now and thanks for watching